38. There are three reasons why we study Li Shao Qi. First, he's the second richest real estate self-made billionaire in the world. Second, he's the second richest self-made billionaire in Hong Kong. Third, he never finished high school. Let us meet Li Shao Qi. Li Xiao Qi was born in Shunde, China in 1928 to wealthy Chinese family who were gold traders. This is a map of Shunde, which is about 60 miles from Hong Kong. He was a child prodigy. At age 6, his father introduced him to the gold trading business. At age 12, he went through an apprenticeship of gold through his father. In 1948, at the age of 20, with four years of business experience, he arrived in Hong Kong as a refugee with 1,000 Hong Kong dollars in his pocket, which was about $200 US. His first business was trading gold and currency. His second business was export-import. In August 2017, he has a net worth of $20.3 billion and is the second richest real estate semi billionaire. At one point in 1997, he was the fourth richest man in the world. He made his fortune mostly by buying up land in the new territories. So what is the new territories? Well, it's a part of Hong Kong that was once both the country's size and consists of many fishing villages. In 1958, at the age of 30, he moved into real estate after making a small fortune trading gold and currency. This is what the new territories look today. 18 it stays, all facing Tele Harbor or Kato Shan Ma In 1976, he founded Henderson Land Development. The property giant now makes up the bulk of his wealth. He was 48 years old. Sanhang Kai Center, ICC, IFC, etc. All of which can be deemed the landmarks of Hong Kong. IFC and ICC on the opposite bank, buying beauty and splendor with each other. In 1997, when the handover of Hong Kong to mainland China after more than a century of British rule, Li Shao Qi was the fourth richest man in the world, thanks to his real estate holdings. Seconds before midnight, the British flag was lowered to the strains of God Save the Queen. The Chinese army band then played the Chinese national anthem to signal the moment that Hong Kong became a special administrative region of China. Good evening. The handover is done. The ceremonies and celebrations over. A century and a half of British rule in Hong Kong is simply history tonight. China is in charge now. It's already Tuesday in Hong Kong, the first dawn of a new era. A very rainy dawn. In spite of the terrible weather, Hong Kong's new flag and the Chinese flag were raised over all of Hong Kong's government buildings. A day of firsts then in Hong Kong, but for that it also of course had to be a day of lasts. And that's what this was, Hong Kong's last day as a British colony.
In 2006, he made a killing by investing in mainland Chinese stocks. 第三辦就行基財經啊,係啦,高三個希望佢翻多一翻啦,有五百就就一千一千就再翻多翻啲。我最近曾經同國內合作,同大家嚟好多個部幾個部門合作,誒誒搞一個誒一百萬個農民